Uh, sir, another big focus was the connectivity project that was announced. Uh, uh, how do you see it being a game changer for the region and for India, Middle East, West Asia and Europe? Well, I, I think it's a very, very significant initiative because uh, uh, at one level it's rooted very deeply in tradition, you know, for hundreds, thousands of years. Uh, people have been traversing this route from India to Europe and back through through the Gulf, through the Arabian uh, Peninsula. Uh, so there's a long tradition, uh, but it stopped for a variety of historical reasons. Or uh, it has reduced, you can say. Uh, today, I think we have the uh, the circumstances, uh, the fact that all the countries uh, involved, which you mentioned. Uh, they all are interested in reviving this tradition, uh, but reviving it in a modern way, you know. So we are really looking at an economic corridor, you know, which will be partly maritime, partly railway. I mean, there'll be other aspects for it, not just logistics, you know, uh, different aspects of economic activity. So uh, I, I think it's, a, it's an enormously promising uh, initiative. Obviously, we'll have to work very hard and see how to take it forward. Any details regarding the finances? Any deadline, date line? No, I, no look, I think you've had an agreement uh, in principle right now. So you'll have to be a little bit patient. It's being welcomed by the Russian president as well, something we saw uh, yesterday. But it's being seen as something which is counter to the Chinese Belt and Road Well, I would, uh, I would urge you to see things positively rather than see everything negatively in terms of countering other people. I mean, I, I think this, this is an initiative of very important countries who all see good in it for themselves. They're not doing it because they're against somebody and something. They're doing it because they are for something.